Danny Baker's Breakfast Show. Weekday mornings from 6. Danny Baker on BBC London 94.9. I can't stop eating sweets. All those wonderful Willy Wonka treats. You can keep the others. Because me, I'm a Wonkera. When it comes to candy, Willie's the conqueror. English as tuppence and changing, yet changeless as canal water. Armoured and defeat, nestling in green nowhere. Miss Havishambling, feudal still, Opsimath and Eremite. Bold flag bearer. Lotus eating. The BBC London 94.9 Breakfast Show, and uh, you know sometimes we advertise Bruce Springsteen's coming in, and you know, you know it's, you know it's just a ploy, you know it's just it's just chin music. But uh, I did advertise Jeffrey Belden was going to be joining us, I think from show one. Uh, I think so. When we uh, did uh, celebrate Castle Saburac, etc. And I often pretended that Jeffrey Belden was coming. I'm happy to say to Jeffrey Belden, as good as his word, and as our last guest, our last ever studio guest, joins us this morning. Um, bless you, Jeffrey. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Uh, if you come right to that mic. Microphone because the BBC right, uh, uh, forward. ill afford another shilling in the middle, okay. apparently. So, uh, uh, well, welcome aboard and uh, and appropriately, even though of course you're, uh, I think this is the longest CV we've ever had of any of our guests. Uh, appropriately, it is because of the, the what people still regard as the great role of all great roles. It is for Cat it's Weasel DVD. Bit. It is. And uh, yeah. was there a period when you thought I never want to hear either the words Cat or Weasel again? No, it wasn't. You always no. enjoyed him. Yes, I have. Yeah. And um, if if I was recognised yeah. <clears throat> without the makeup, I was thrilled. Yeah, yeah. If anyone called me Bailden or Geoffrey, I was in heaven. Yeah, I'll bet. That was very rare. Yeah, because of course <laughs> it has passed into, uh, I mean, anyone now who looks whiskery or is a little bit uh, eccentric, it gets called a cat weasel. I know. Absolutely passed into the language. Yes. Uh, Amy, who's from New Jersey, so is forgiven, asked me this morning, she went, I'm out of the loop here with cat weasel, because plainly she was, uh, she was only about two at the time, I think, Amy. Mm. Uh, and, uh, uh, but, and of course, in the 11th century, uh, was he a wizard or was he a, 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 he was a wizard, alchemist? A bad wizard. Yeah, a very bad yeah, one, yeah. yes. Um, an amateur pursued by the Normans, <laughs> jumps into a pond and, and wakes up in the 20th century. Uh, jumps into a lake and a lake. comes out of a pond. That's right. Of course it is. Yes, of course <laughs> it is. Uh, and I remember watching the first one and absolutely think that uh, it was that kind of feeling that, that some people have for Doctor Who and stuff, which I've never particular about. But this, I thought, oh, please don't let it be another week until the next one. And then there are quite a few episodes, even though there's just two series, yes? The two series. How many did you actually film? Do you know how many actual episodes the, are there? There were 26. There's 26. Was there ever going two to be... Two lots of 13. Was yeah. there ever going to be another series? Is there a lost series of Cat Weasel? Well, there, was, there is the second series. Yeah, but was uh, there ever going to be a third? No, not since, no. No, no. It was never mooted. No. Because it was very... I included, said, it's time it stopped. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Which is appropriate. Because it had a formula. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and it's appropriate because the second series was about time, wasn't it? The clock and the 13. And, yes, oh, man, That's that a brilliant a, idea. Was, you know, Those mm, ideas are brilliant. Yeah, they were. But yes. a, a different family the second time around, wasn't it? Uh, a different boy. Different boy. We had a lordling. Uh-huh, OK. Uh, we couldn't have the farm. No. We'd lost it. Sam. So, yeah. so we'd lost Carrot. Oh, of course you lost Carrot. Yeah, you lost Carrot. I mean, you wouldn't believe it around here many mornings when you've been sleeping peacefully. Both Damkos and Castle Saburak and uh, Touchwood and all of that. Uh, yes. How many Touchwoods were there? How many Toads were well, there? Well, in the first series, mm -hmm. there's only about three. Uh -huh. In the second series, the timing was wrong, uh -huh. and with dozens. Dozens, did you? Yes, they, they got minute <laughs> <they're> in hibernation. <laughs> and, and how is it working with a, a co-star toad? Was it, was, was, was it, he, he pinched. Did he? Yes. <laughs> the, the moment, he, he was always wrong way round. Yeah. Literally arse over tip. No, and, oh, yes. Uh, every time we said, put the toad... Oh, dear, here he goes uh, again. So he showed his bottom. Yeah. And then one day... It just had an idea of its own and walked up the tunnel of the camera. Oh! And put his hand, oh, or whatever, whatever you call it, yeah. flat against the lens. And they couldn't flat. use this. They couldn't use this. It sounds like they, they, they... Of course they used it. Oh, did they? And from then on, 
Touchwood couldn't be stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how very unlike gonna... himself an agent, by the way. He was the scene stealer. I'm going to say how very unlike human co-stars, of course. But uh, but it, it, you hear about Friends when they had the monkey in it. They had to get rid of the monkey then because mm. you do the perfect take. You think we've got it, and they'll say, no, you know, the monkey was no good. And I suppose yes. Touchwood had elements of that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have any uh, 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 props or anything from the set? You don't have your wonderful. Uh, I've got my. I've got my. I've got everything. Yeah. I've got my wig. My. It was a wish. Oh, really? I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. I mean, you know, I just, I just presumed everyone was like that. And, but how about that kind of, I don't know what to call it, the cowl, the cloak, the clothes? Do you yes, have I've it? got that. Do you really? Yes. yes. And, uh, and even the shoes. Which, those what? shoes, those sandals, yeah. Dr. Skulls eat your heart out. Yeah, those yeah. shoes. Mm. Yeah, and, uh, and, and honestly, have you ever just slipped into the gear even though you weren't filming? You what? Uh, do you ever slip into the gear, even when you're not filming? No. Oh, you don't? No. I thought you might actually... I first. have done it at signings. Mm -hmm. I've had it hanging behind. I'll bet. <laughs> uh, I, I was saying before we came on the air, you're in heavy rotation, as they say at the moment, into Sir With Love, uh, yes, with Sidney right. Poitier, which uh, Sky is showing uh, at least once a day at the moment. Uh, and that was that's a, a film of its time. It's not a, It's what they call a, a flawed masterpiece, I believe. Uh, uh, but uh, th I agree with you. Yeah, yes. it, it's lovely to see London in 1966 and all of that. But, sure. Uh, and, and did you socialise at all with Sydney Poitier when he was over? Did you get to uh, know Yes, him and I remember he was not easy. He was he was charming and, uh -huh. and fine, uh -huh. but he was very quiet and to himself. Uh -huh. And I remember on the last day I went to his caravan uh -huh. and just said goodbye. And he went very... Oh, mm -hmm. he was... He was? Very touched by it. Oh, really? Yes, he it was... You'd think he could have said, oh, yeah, 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 but, but, yeah, yeah, but he, he, no, was, he was wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that says that it's on at the moment. As I say, it's, it's, it's not the, the quintessential London film or anything, but it's absolutely gripping while you watch it, just for mm. all kinds of reasons. Now I'm going to play a piece of music. Let me should move this on. Uh, you won't be able to hear this if you just put the headphones on there, but let me play you this. Hang on. This is, this is pertinent to your career as well. One second. This music here, uh, you won't identify it because it's uh, niche music. This is the music they played as people boarded the Titanic. This is called the White Star March. And of course, uh, you, in some ways, I always hold responsible for not be acting quicker. Tell us why on earth you have a, a connection with the Titanic here, Jeffrey. What would that be? Because I was the um, wireless mechanic on the Californian. Yeah. Uh, and I went to sleep. Can we just say to people, he was playing the wireless mechanic. He actually yes. wasn't. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff is no teenager, yes, but he actually wasn't the wireless mechanic. I'm not going to have that again for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> In a night to remember, we're talking That's about. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In a night to remember. Yeah. A, a, a marvelous film, I think. Yeah. Um, it, 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 I say it's what, a film I, I watched really a lot, a lot better than, a lot better than, than, than the James Cameron one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course, when we return, we'll uh, you say you, you're happy to embrace Cat Weasel, and that's what we're here to talk about. But uh, you know, uh, uh, your career and, and your CV runs for pages and pages here. And uh, yet, I suspect when people watch even a film as august and fantastic as A Night to Remember, when you come on in the Californian, they still say, Do you know that is Cat Weasel? <laughs> <laughs> that's, you've got it right where you are. <laughs> when we come back, more with you. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Actually, we are back now, so uh, as you know, if you press the red buttons on your remote control, you'd have heard various indiscreet stories about show business folk. Uh, Jeffrey Bell, good enough to be with us this morning. In fact, why am I playing this when I actually should be playing this? Let's try this. I can see the little graphics behind this. Yeah, Jeffrey Bell, good enough to be with us this morning, talking about this and that. And we were actually talking about Cat Weasel off the air uh, because the entire first series is now on a two DVD set. There's the summer sorted out. Uh, and uh, some of the language and imagery in Cat Weasel, away from it just being pure nostalgia for people of a certain age, was beautiful and inventive. The yeah. light bulb being the sun in a bottle, wasn't it? it was, Amazing. Yeah. yeah. How did you come to play Cat Weasel? It was written for me. Was it? Yes. How about that? What a beautiful uh, thing to be able to say. They... I wasn't the first choice. Who was? Guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, I'm, you know, I'm a casting director. 11th century wizards, 11th no, century... Yeah, 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 Richard yeah, yeah. Harris. I don't, who? John Pertwee. Oh, well, okay. They, wanted, oh, they okay. wanted a name. Oh, all right. And uh, uh, uh -huh. the author, uh -huh. Kip Carpenter, Richard Carpenter, uh -huh said, it's written with Geoffrey Bailden in mind. I want Geoffrey. Oh, really? Held we out, We were yeah. at the same drama school together. Ah. And we didn't know each other much there. Uh -huh. but we got to know each other at parties since. Uh -huh. And 
He just said, it's that, that's what? the actor I want to do it. Why, Geoffrey? Do you know, what characteristics did you have that lent yourself towards the, one of the great eccentrics of British uh, show business? Uh, I did it because I was good at playing old men. I was going to say I that, yeah. I was always doing yeah. uh, character roles. Yeah. And a lot of it was uh, eccentric, mm -hmm. macabre. The, 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 I got landed with that, which I got eventually very tired of. Uh -huh. Except I love playing different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I was playing, have you ever played? Reason, have fun. you ever been uh, uh, played a, a romantic thrusting lead? Have you ever been oh, the no. ingenue? Never. No. You and Clive Dunn, the curse. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if you I have photographs of my legs uh -huh. playing Lysander. Oh, well done. So well done. Done. Yeah. It, it is delicious to look upon. <laughs> if you could, good at the old men. Good at the, good at the, the quirky stuff. Good at the old men. Following John Pertwee. Yes. Were you uh, ever up for Doctor Who? I was the original Doctor Who. I was... It suddenly came through from my agent. Uh, Geoffrey, I was out of work. Uh, and I'd said to her, look, I'm now facing television, mm -hmm. and I've played several old men on television yeah. because it was very much theatre connected, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they didn't think that strange. But I knew that it was wrong. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to change, and so I said, "If they ask me to play an old man, even although I'm out of work, say no." Yeah. The phone rang, and she said, "Jeffrey, 52 weeks. How would you like it?" I said. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell me more. She said, that is this thing I've got to tell you. It's an old man. Mm. I said, give me ten minutes. Yeah. And I rang back and I said, tell them too long, too old. Oh, no. And I said no to it and then didn't get jobs immediately and mm. I knew it was being very successful. Yeah. And I had my doubts. And then Cat Weasel came along. Yeah. And then I thought, that's it. That's why you <laughs> that's did it. That's where I want to be. Yeah. 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 And I wouldn't have had the, I wouldn't have got it. It's, a great, yeah. it's, 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 it's to, um, to everyone a great regret that there was never a Cat Weasel film uh, because that, that was just, uh, it, that period. It should I, have happened yeah. then. Yes, it's true enough. Oh, well, now they couldn't. And and please, God, nobody ever tries to uh, remake Cat Weasel. It doesn't need it. It's no, done. No, no, it's done, and it's here on DVD. You can see it. It certainly doesn't need a, a smart updating, because I know well, my older children now, 21 and 18, uh, that they are equally, as when they were younger, as, as yeah. gripped by this thing. So, uh, uh, so it, it is that, that cliche for all ages, because I know some things you can't go back and look again at, but yeah. Cat Weasel, you can, and there's always stuff in there. Uh, when the Alka-Seltzer is presented to him, and he, he, he screams, it boils, it boils. Oils. You think, whoa! And what was what was? I mean, I can do it. I have a version of it. But do you remember his incantation? It's, it's Buzz went the house by his bus goes yeah, the bus said the bee. Yeah, Buzz mm, said the <laughs> and so said we. And so said we. It says the hum says the hum says the house flies. Buzz goes the bee. Hum and buzz and so do we. Look at that <laughs> between us. I never thought I'd get to act with Jeffrey Bell as Cat Weasel. I think I might have just done that. Uh, and it was it uncomfortable because it looks like it's in, in those water tanks and it looks like he's quite claustrophobic at times and there's a lot of water in no, it. No, it wasn't uncomfortable. It wasn't uncomfortable, except when the time when I went into the water tank, mm -hmm. uh, I had a little uh, person in charge of my wig uh -huh. who kept giving me a drink. Oh. It was Cochin. <laughs> Cochin. Cochin. Oh. And oh. I thought I was getting away with it beautifully because I had nothing to say. <laughs> and they said, oh, please, let's get this in this, this take before our principal artist is absolutely flat on his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should look for that glint in the eyes. I've gone right back here, Little Beanie. What do you remember? I'm going to try to put you on the spot. What do you remember of uh, 1952, The Stranger Left No Card? This is the first yeah, thing that appears on your CD. That's here. clever of you. Yeah, well, just, just uh, what do we remember? Randy Toys, wonderful little 25 minute. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a great friend of Wendy's, uh -huh. and I knew this thing was coming on. Uh -huh. she, she was telling me about it, and she was looking for the, mainly for the music. Okay. And she'd say, Listen to this, and so that, that happens, this happens. I'd yeah. Say, yes. Uh -huh. And then it, it was a, a Norwegian. It was a, Norwegian? Norwegian what? It, it, it was Scandinavian, the record. Okay. Uh, LP. Uh -huh. And she said, I went to the next day and I said, are you still using that? She said, no, listen to the other side. Uh -huh. And it fitted exactly. Okay. That was the tune that was uh, used. The Stranger. And the wonderful uh, Alan Bedell. And uh, moving up here, I can't move on without, uh, we're going to come to, of course, Pink Panther and everything else in a moment. But there's one here called, where is it? I just I just saw this. It's uh, The Two-Headed Spy, 1958. What do you remember of The Two-Headed Spy, if anything? I was a 
the driver. All right, the, as, as the driver. I can't go into it in great detail, except it was in the studio. Mm -hmm. I don't drive at all. Do you ever? Did... And the back window had to, the front window had to be shattered mm -hmm. with me driving. And, it... and he said, "Don't worry, we know exactly." Uh, the angle of incidence equals uh -huh. the angle of refraction, uh -huh. and we send the bullet. And? We know exactly. I said, what about the driving mirror? Uh -huh. They said, no, it doesn't go anywhere near that. Okay. So, <laughs> action, whoosh, I got out of the way, splattering of glass. Uh -huh. First thing I looked was the mirror had yeah. gone. <laughs> and? We said, we'll do it again. I was terrified. Did you end up and in the hospital? I wouldn't be in there for all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but as a young actor, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> you could then get shot at. What a way to get money. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, the other great touchstone, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, of course. Uh, people. Uh, no. No. It, it says, I, I, I cannot recall you in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I wasn't. Bang. Well, it's I, got it down here in I your know, CV. It's Chitty all Chitty over Bang the place. Bang. I was not. But did I think in you're one of the professors? Bang Bang. What? But did I think you're one of the professors who sing from the ashes of destruction, grow to roses of success? That's where it came from. Is yeah. that what I think you're doing in there? Because it's got Chitty Chitty Bang Bang here, but it hasn't got any character name. Now, I'll say I couldn't play it. Because I wasn't in it, it's right. Yeah, OK. But... <laughs> Are okay. you sure? Are you <laughs> uncredited <laughs> only because of your non-appearance in the film? Given, the, given that this is one of the most substantial of uh, CVs we've been through with one of our guests, um, do you ever watch TV or put on the thing late at night and you think, I think I'm in this? Does that, does that ever happen? Uh, not quite. Mm. Uh, no, it, it, it hasn't. Yeah, well, I was going to say, because you recalled your earliest two vehicles uh, uh, quite clearly there, so I, but, but it is a, this goes on for like six or seven pages. Yes. We're used to people having two here. Uh, you were It seems like you've always been extremely busy. Is that fair yes, to say? Yes, I have. That's, that's a bit of luck. That's what people... They, I did main parts mm -hmm. in classical plays generally, Yeah. Uh, restoration mm -hmm. particularly, um, before cat reason. Restoration, I love it. That, man, that never existed. Man, do I love the restoration. Why, only yesterday, sir, I heard of a pox caught up in Wales. In Wales, as her. Oh, man, do I... <laughs> Jeffrey, is it right that you served in the RAF? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was that during the war? Without what? Was that during the war? Because you went during to... During the war, yes. During the war. I was... I was... I spread a word. Mm -hmm. I was air crew. Uh -huh. And we went redundant. And so we never really got inside a plane. No. We actually did. <laughs> oh, well. we, we flew over Luton. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it it's safer that way. I think it's and, and came back again for tea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I believe they, they rebuilt the town hall pretty much as it was, though, afterwards. Yeah. Uh, so, so I understand. I spent yeah. a lot of time yeah. doing acting and directing. And that yeah. sort of oh, did you? Uh, okay. uh, coming to, uh, just back to the res, because this is what we're here for, Cat Weasel, the entire uh, first series. And, of course, this, this is when the series was a series. None of your five and six episodes. There's, what, 13 on this? 13 on 13, the first yes. one, 13 episodes. Two dots of 13. Uh, and just just for my own interest, did they film this as we see it here? I mean, did you have to go in... Did they did they start with you disappearing into the 20th century? Or... Yes. Did they? The, oh, good. The first day, uh -huh. I was thinking of this this morning, mm -hmm. I came down in my robes, which uh -huh. were down to the ground, uh -huh. immaculate. Uh -huh. There were Normans running around the... That spiral, uh, stone spiral staircase, uh, as I remember. Doing their uh -huh. equestrian stuff. Uh -huh. And he looked at me and said, oh, my God, you just look like a... as though you've been in a monastery. Uh. Has anyone some scissors? <laughs> he got the scissors and went <laughs> up to my waist. Uh, uh, then he went all over the place yeah. and took more and more and more off. Then uh -huh. said, I'll go and roll in the dirt. <laughs> And <laughs> <laughs> no, well, well avoided, yeah. And and, and so you uh, 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 dumb yourself or muddy yourself down, as yes. they say, into uh, all of that, and straight into the pond stroke lake. Was that the first day? Uh, no, it, no uh. it, it, it came later. No, all right. Okay. Uh, Two or three days later. Okay. Well, uh, uh, what have you got there? Yeah, so we just we've had uh, loads of uh, yeah. of calls and emails and texts for you, Jeffrey. Just a couple here. Olive uh, just says excellent. Off on the buses. Uh, yes, uh, my favourite children's program. It was. Still hear the theme tune. I think we expect the DVD to sell quite well. Yeah. I think uh, so. Keith in Watford um, wants to know whether you were in the St Trinian's uh, series of films. Never. Yeah. See, I didn't think I so either, Jeff. You were Pink Panther for a while, though. You did pick one of the Pink Panthers, I didn't did you? Yeah. One of the Pink Panthers, yes. Yeah, certainly. As, what were you, just remind us again, uh, Pink Panther. You Pink, were just... Pink Panther, I was the 
boss of the lunatic asylum. Ah, there you go. Yes. There it is. Now it's free. And I opened it up. Yeah. Inspector Dreyfus goes to. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, right. and, and 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 we will. I've got one more request to make of you in a moment. Amy, give us all the details. Yes. Of this, well, the you? complete first series of Cat Weasel mm -hmm. came out on DVD on Monday, mm -hmm. so it's in all good shops now. All good. It is. It, it, it's beautifully packaged on two discs and all of that. Uh, when Cat Weasel used to turn the light on and off, when he first yeah. became, uh, what's he, he would you know, have one hand on the switch, the other one as if throwing a spell, yes. and uh, that wonderful noise you made, which I'm sure wasn't scripted, but he yeah. made it best described as C-H-E, I think is the way it looks. Do you want do? it? Well, oh, we'll do it. everybody. Now, uh, just let the audience get time to get over to their own light switches. I, I, I'm, I'm on mine, and, and you throw your hand, and Cat Weasel was so happy that he had power over this, he would go... <laughs> Jeff. Oh, come on, everyone. Jeffrey Belden as Cat Weasel. Thank you very much. Who'd have thought we'd all live so long? A perfect end to our guest box. Bless you, Jeffrey. Thank you very much. Very well. On 94.9 FM.